Um, we're looking at our microbit code where we're working on sending radio signals. Um, so first I'm just going to like demonstrate on the computer here. We, we had another video where we built this code and we demoed it. Um, I made a couple modifications um, and I'm just going to go through the code and I'm going to go through the process. You'll see over here where I'm going to actually download it to the physical micro bit and use a speaker to play the song for this code. Um, but just to recap, um, so we have these two uh, major starting spots with our microcontrollers and we have a code that wraps around when we start. So we're going to set the radio group to, um, to one and that's just like our radio signal. We want them to always be on the same um, channel. So there's our radio set group to one. And then just to make sure that that went through, there's a, a visual for us. It, the micro bit's going to show a happy face. So we know, okay, great. The radio got set. And then forever, it's going to continuously check something. So we have a conditional statement here that if the light level is greater than the number five, then to send uh, a number. Uh, we just chose the ar ar arbitrary number at five. And then as soon as that's done, we're going to pause for five seconds. And the reason I modified that from the last one is because the song takes a few seconds to play and you end up getting like it um, continuously stopping the song midway. So I have a longer pause than before. Uh, the other piece of the code is when the radio is received. So I could have actually set um, this as a piece of the code for one micro bit and like this is the code for the other and one is the sender, one is the receiver. I have just both of them doing that. Um, because we're only going to hook the speaker up to one, you'll only hear the music coming from one. Um, but what this one is, is if the received number is equal to five and if the light level is greater than five, it'll send the number five, then we're going to get an icon on the micro bit of a heart. And it's going to play this um, melody, da 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 dum, uh, and it'll pause for two seconds and then clear that screen. Okay. Um, if we test over here, you'll see the face turns on. Hey, we set radio group to one, and then very quickly this is happening. I'm gonna I'll turn the sound on for a second. You can hear it; it's playing right now. Okay. Um, great. We know that code worked. Uh, now what we would do is normally just save what we got, and when we save it, you'll notice that. It downloads the hex file to the computer. I'm gonna quickly jump over here. These are my downloads. Now, this is the step we're gonna actually work on the micro bit itself. So you can see the micro bit here. Uh, we have the USB to micro USB. So I'm gonna plug it in. Okay, and you'll see there's a light on the back. That means it's getting power. Uh, we're plugged in at the moment. And on the computer, you'll notice that uh, it comes up almost like a, a hard drive here. This is the most recent one. So I'm actually going to drag this hex file. It did not work. What's going on? Use two hands, please. I do not know why. I can't. I clearly don't know how to use a mouse. There we go. I'm not sure why that one would work. It doesn't matter. These are both the same hex file. I'm going to drag it and drop it right on top. And when I do that, uh, you'll notice this light here is going off on the physical one. And on the computer, we actually have um, a window that pops up saying that the code is being loaded. And once it's done that, you'll see the happy face shows up. That means great. It's set the radio, the radio signal to one. Um, and now it's waiting for another uh, micro bit. So we need two micro bits for this. So I'm going to unplug that one. And when I do that, uh, you'll notice well, you can't actually see it in this one. Let's go back to downloads. Okay, and bring it up. You'll notice from the locations on here, um, the micro bit's gone. So I'm going to plug this one in. So this is the second micro bit. Again, the light turns on on the computer under locations. Micro bit shows up again. So I'm going to drag that same code down here. It's loading, the window pops up, says it's loading. That light's going on on the physical micro bit saying that the code is passing through. And we get the happy face, great, and the heart. So the heart is saying that this is actually um, picking up the light and they're sending signals to each other. So this one, the heart turned on, that means the signal got sent to this one here. Uh, so this one's currently sending it over. I'm going to actually hook up the micro bit here. So in the physical space, uh, you'll notice I have two alligator clips and I have the audio cable that's attached to the speaker here. So I'm gonna take one of the alligator clips and the one I attach to the uh, zero pin here, we're actually going to clip on to the tip of the audio cable, okay? The other alligator clip, we're gonna to attach to the ground pin on the micro bit. Very 
goes up. And that's going to attach to the base of the audio cable. And it would be really nice if I had the audio cable plugged in, which I thought I did at the second. Is this going to play? So right now on the physical one, this one's saying it's not getting a signal. So what that means is this one's not reading a level of five because we're not getting the heart to show up. Luckily, I have a little flashlight here. There we go. Ooh, that's very loud. So you can hear, let me turn the volume down on this a little. That visual signal really let us know. Um, so you'll see on the pink one here, it's not getting a visual signal, which means the green micro bit, because that's the sender, is saying that the light level is below five, I guess. The pink one is getting a light level above five and it's sending it to the green one. So the green one's seeing it, you can see the visual, it's giving us the heart, but I don't have that hooked into any uh, speaker, so you're not getting any audio sound, right? So I only get a visual saying that, hey, the light sensor says there's a level five. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this light, I'm gonna shine it here, and we should see on the pink one in a second. Hopefully, on the pink one. There we go. Oh, I didn't get the sound again. Did I lose my audio clips? Let's make sure they're grounded. And that can be a bit tricky sometimes. Let's reset it. So there's a button on the back. I just want to make sure that it's setting up properly. I reset it. Okay, we get the happy face. My alligator clips are on. I'm going to make sure I'm getting light to the green one. There we go, a heart on the pink micro bit. Oh, I'm not getting my sound. Did I turn it too low? Let's just make sure that these are clipped on properly one more time to the base. We got it the first time, which showed that it worked. Hmm. You can see by the heart here that it's actually sending. I wonder if there's an issue with my speaker. Try it one more time. Oh, I hope it's not. This is a Bluetooth speaker, so hopefully it's not connecting to something else at the moment. Hmm. Let's try. I'm going to do one more thing. This video is longer than I want it to be. But since the green one keeps getting that signal, it's the same code. The green one should actually do the exact same thing. I can actually clip it right in there. Constantly getting it, but I'm not getting an audio signal, which is unfortunate. Let's go back to the base. Now we know it worked off the beginning. Oh, I just turned it way too low. I'm so sorry. There you go. Well, at least we tested the green one. So we know the green one code is also working. And if we quickly check our visual for the pink one, if we get enough light to that one, it should also send, there we go, the heart sending. So the green one was either, sorry, I turned the level or volume too low on the speaker. That was the problem. Great, so it all works.